Oh, yeah. Sorry, just slurping down some, uh, Jolly <laughs> Sounds like a sponsor. This stuff is good. This is very good. It was better in Milan, though. It was warmer in Milan. They didn't put ice in it. Here, they put ice in it, kind of waters it down a little bit. But, once again, Jollibee taste test part dose. There's a lot of different things we get. We got uve pie, mango, uh, peach pie. We got some adobo rice. There's a lot of different things yes. in this event. Pretty much everything we got is something we've never had before. So, uh, let's do it. Jollibee, 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 Jollibee in Vegas. If you hear the cars going by on the road outside, it's because there's a lot of stuff going on out there. A roller coaster. Yeah, there's a roller coaster right outside the window. It's Las Vegas. It's weird. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we got... It just says deluxe. Deluxe. Spicy chicken sandwich. Oh my gosh. This already looks better than the Milan one. That looks spicy. In my dude. opinion. It, that, even that part's red. And then this is sriracha mayo, and there's jalapenos on it. This appeared to be new. They had a bunch of advertisements for it and stuff. So maybe you guys haven't even had it. Yeah, maybe you haven't. But uh, sriracha mayo, lettuce, spicy, and jalapenos. Jalapenos? Jalapenos. I'm hearing some crunch there. Very crunchy. Oh, there's a lot of sauce over here. That's good. I really like that. That's a that's a high quality sandy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a big bite I swallowed. The sauce is very good. I didn't get much sauce. I think my bite is I bit the part where the stick chicken was oh, sticking yeah, out. Yeah. Let me get some of that sauce. Is this my bite? Yeah. There was some sauce right at the top of my lip, and that's definitely the spiciest part of it. Because it hit the top of my lip. I think I got some right pinot there. in there too. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's much spicier. Yeah. That's very good though. Sriracha mayo is really good. There's a tomato on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit into that. Disgusting. The chicken itself is very Ooh. flavorful. Whoa, -ho -ho, that is spicy. I did, I, all I got was the sauce too, so I'm sure you got more. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. That's good, that's really good. That's very high good. quality sandy. Uh -huh. I, would, I would stack that up against uh, some of the other good chicken sandwiches in the US because the chicken sandwich wars. I always go for those spicy chicky sandies. Got a little twanger to it. It does, I'm still burning. I'm still burning. Try the chicken strips. Chicky strips. Good old fashioned chicky strips. Did not realize they had chicky strips actually. Look at those. Oh, they're strippy. They're very chicken. We also only ordered three, but they gave us four. Yes. Look at that. The Filipinos are so nice. This has got some crunch to it. It's a pretty thick boy too. Yeah. And uh, as you guys said last time, you're supposed, it's customary to dip it in gravy. Or at least you're supposed to, how the heck do you get this cracker out? It's gonna just explode. Yeah. Oh no. Why is this dangerous? <laughs> they vacuum seal the gravy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dink it in. Dunk it. Dink. Dink. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, baby. Wow. I can't tell it's better. The gravy or the chicken? The, oh, the gravy smells so good, too. Ooh, that, those are definitely better than KFC chicken strips. Wow, there's so much flavor there. And then the, the gravy was so warm. And it's it like, thick. Ugh. It's a thick piece of chicken too. A lot of times, thick pieces of chicken get chewy. These don't. This is very solid. The mm. crunch on the outside is great. Mm. The breading. Mm. Bottom dip. I would eat those all the time if I had a Jollibee. Mm. I love that. The gravy definitely, definitely adds. Fast food chicken strip scale? Honestly, I think I'm gonna give those a fat niner. A niner? Niner, those are, niner. Those are pretty good for fast food chicken strips. I don't have much to compare to, just the Dairy Queens and the McDonald's. Way better than Dairy Queen, way better than McDonald's. For sure, for sure. Better than KFC's. It's better than a good chunk of restaurant chicken sandwich I've had too. Yeah, better than Applebee's. Mm. I already drank all my pineapple juice. Fine. Dang that. Oh, I thought a little bit. There's a very unfamiliar smell, but we got the Palabak. It's apparently a garlic pasta that has like eggs, and these are the smallest eggs I've ever seen in my entire life. It's got some small shrimpers on there too. And these shrimp are... Shoot, we don't have utensils. Oh, uh, they had a ton in the bag. Oh, they did? Okay. So nice and thoughtful. Look at how many... They didn't give us any in Milan. No. There wasn't as many Filipinos working in Milan. No, there wasn't. This oh. should be interesting. Okay. I know you guys can't really see what we're doing. Uh, flip it. Look at that. I got spicy chicken joy too. Oh, the noodles. All right. I'll just Are these like this. rice noodles? They're, they're very right, I'm gonna get a piece of shrimp. Translucent. Get a piece of shrimp and an egg. Oh yeah, let me let me try and get an egg around there too. 
This is very challenging. Okay, and an egg. Oh boy. It smells more like shrimp than yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting more of a shrimp first. Alright, well, let's do it. Oh. Okay. I need to try some more of that. I only got taste on the aftertaste there. Yeah, it wasn't like a super strong flavor right off the bat. These noodles, I've never had noodles like this before. They, there's, yeah, the texture of them. Wow. Are they rice noodles? Is that what these, is that why they're so white? The texture of them is so unique. They just like all goop in there. That's interesting. Very interesting. What is this stuff on top? Some sort of beef? I'd be interesting to try the non-fast food version of this. Definitely. It's obviously fast food. And the sauce that you can just tell is just like plopped on it. Yeah. Where I feel like if it all mixed in well, I think that'll be very From a good. a nice Filipino restaurant. Mm -hmm. I like that. The flavor is very good though. It's an interesting, because it's a garlic sauce, I don't necessarily taste the garlic mm -hmm. very much. It has a fishy yeah. flavor or shrimpy. Yeah. That's big. even like when I just got, when I didn't get any shrimp on it, I still got just the yeah. shrimp flavor. Yeah. Interesting. Very good. I liked it though. The flavor. Are we rating things? I don't, it, we didn't. It's hard to start. rate something that we've never had. Yeah. But let's rate it as a, I would want to have that again at a special, I would eat this again from, that has a lot of liquid. Just launch, but I would eat this again at Jollibee, then I really want to try it mm -hmm. somewhere sure. fancy. Yeah, I, I agree with that rating. All right, we got the Aloha burger here. Yes. Pineapple on a burger. Yes, it also has bakey, which I'm not, bacon, which I'm not. A big fan of. So you had to like, you throw had, me off. You had to clarify what bake you was. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure. Oh, it's wet. Oh wow. my gosh, this thing is a monster. That Holy is a monster. nuts! It's very picturesque for a burger. It is. That is. Focus on the burger. Yeah. There's a lot going on. This looks like a restaurant burger. Wow, that lettuce, very green. All right, let's try this. Never had a pineapple on a burger before. Did you get the pineapple? Mm-hmm. Wow, this thing is... Whoa. It's got the mass to it. Mmm. Mm, that's good. It smells pretty sweet. Is it sweet? Mm-hmm. I mean, the sauce is sweet, and then the pineapple throws in another sweetness into it as well. You barely taste the bacon Whoa. at all. That's a different sweetness than I expected for a burger. It's really good. That's really good. It reminds me a wow. little bit of the sweetness you get on Icelandic burgers. Obviously more of a fruity sweetness though. Yeah, and that, that part didn't hit me until after. I got the sweetness of the sauce, and then after it was like, oh, mm -hmm. when I bit into the pineapple, like when I crushed it down, I was like, here you go. Have some pineapple. Oh, welcome wow. to the Philippines. Oh shoot, I spilled her. That was good. Um, Whoa. Very good burger. That's a fast food burger too. That's it's crazy. Thick boy alert. That's gotta be one of the better fast food burgers I've ever had. It was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was like top tier. Just the flavor of it. It's just like something like, like if you're craving something like sweet, but you also want it, the savory with it. That's it another perfect. level. Perfect. That's definitely a higher quality burger than the Yum Burger was. Like, yeah. It was like a step up. Mm -hmm. uh, the Yum Burger we got was, um, it was very like the smash. Like, yeah. Very basic. Mm -hmm. This one is like, no, we ain't basic anymore. No. We got a box. We special. This is like the Big Mac of Jollibee. But better. Much better. <laughs> Let's hit up this adobo rice. Mm -hmm. This is our first time ever having adobo ah. flavored anything. Come on. Come on, copper. A little faster. Let me try to get some cheeky in here. Okay, this very much smells like rice I've had before from Asian restaurants. For sure. All right, let's do this. Rice. Adobo. Mmm. Very soft. Very soft. I like my rice soft. Better than plain rice. I think you could use a little bit of salt. Yeah, a little bit of salt. Um, definitely better than plain rice, obviously. <laughs> that's good. I if you put right you put some salt on that, that's solid. Super <laughs> solid. I'd definitely get this. I'd get this over fries, I think. Yeah, same. If I got a little salt pack with that, that's way better than fries. Mm. That's very good. It is good. It definitely tastes like it tastes like fried rice from a lot of Asian um, food places I've been. All right, it's good. Because everyone in the Philippines, can you understand me? Uh, yeah, they can. Because everyone in the Philippines is so happy. Yeah. Right? Look, at the, look at the Jollibee here. Yeah. So, here. It's like, <laughs> I'm a bee. <laughs> uh, another thing I got, I kind of wanted it to be a drumstick, but you know, whatever. Oh, this is um, this is getting messier and messier. I got a spicy chicken joy. Oh wow, that thing is big. Let's 
I don't know how to, I don't know how to eat these. That's why I like the legs. That sounds crunchier. I don't think I got any meat. <laughs> no, it didn't look like it. You got like a sign, tiny sliver right there. You want a bite? I love a small bite. Oh, Josh is spicy. I don't do good with yeah. spice. Just gonna try. Oh, that's good. I'm a pasty boy, okay? I'm pasty. There's a lot of flavor though. To hit it's, so flavor. it's so good. It's so good. The spice, the spice is hitting me. Oh wow! And it's spicy, spicy. Whoa, that's spicy. That was bone. That is spicy. What the heck? I don't know how to eat it. I got bones in my mouth. I don't know how to eat it, but it tastes really good. It does. It has good flavor. It's very spicy. Which was it? <laughs> my, my mouth is on fire. It was much spicier than the chicky and, candy. And my hands are super dirty now. I need some water. We are now down to pies. Oh. While he's painting in there. Um, we, they had a banana something pie. Banana lagna or something? Yeah, it was a, apparently another fruit that we don't know. Crack that spicy. They had it on the app when we were ordering. We got a call and they didn't have it, so we're settling just for these two. Mango! But An ube! Ube, never had the flavor. Never even knew it existed until this channel. And everyone was talking about how good this one is. And unfortunately there was no hollow hollow at this place. What the heck? No mix mix. They even had pictures of it on like the website too. I guess we'll start with the ube. Everyone said the peach mango is the best. Save the best for last, you know how it goes. <laughs> you having fun there? Oh, it's got a little slit of purpleness. You try it with this spoon. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no. It doesn't okay. even look like... Ube looks so weird. It doesn't even look like food. Yeah, it's so purple. Ah! Look at that cross section. Ooh, it's mushy. Mushy. It's on my pants. I've got purple on my cross. <laughs> Dang it. People are going you beat purple. All right, let's do this. Uber it and do it. Wow. Whoa. Interesting. I don't know what to think. I've never had anything that tastes like that before. The consistency of the paste. I like. And then the flavor, Uve. What the? Wait a second. Wow. That is so weird. What's that taste like? I can't put it to anything. It definitely tastes like something I've had before. Mm. I love that. I actually really love that. The Dude. outside is pretty sweet too. Just the actual pie crust part. The taste. Oh, those are good. Those I are like good. that a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like. They weren't like overpowering sweet either. Mm -mm. It's the perfect flavor. Yeah. What the heck was it? I've had something like that before. What's a similar fruit to an ube? Let us know, I guess. I don't even know if it was a fruit. I feel like it was a cream cheese. One oh. time. That I'm thinking of that tastes like that. I don't know if it's just the fry and then the taste of ube kind of has a sweetness similar to a cream cheese or what, but that's what it tastes like to me. And I loved it because I love cream cheese wontons. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I would pound those things. I won't give them a rating until we try the peach mango here. Peach mango. These things are so messy. Yeah, they're very flaky, which is good, but they're messy. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> oh wow, that's good. The pie crust is so good. Mm-hmm. That's why it reminds you of a wonton. It's less like a pie crust, and it's more like a cream cheese wonton crust. <laughs> we have these things in the United States called cream cheese wontons. I don't know if you have any well, air well, anywhere else. I know it's an American Chinese thing, not authentically Chinese. That's what this crust tastes like. And it's even bubbly like it. Ooh, I like it. But it's not like here when you have an apple pie, it's like, or an apple pie like this, like from McDonald's. It's like the inside sweet and then the outside is also sweet. This one, the outside is more just like fry. Mm -hmm. And the inside is sweet. Yeah, I really like the pie. The pie crust is solid on these. I think I like the ube slightly more. I think I like this one slightly more. Slightly. Oh, this thing was very good. The mm. pies were solid. Those pies were very good. If I had a jello bean by my house, oh my gosh, I would get a lot of food. I'm usually not a massive fan. I, I don't mind pie crust, but I'm usually not a massive fan of pie, pie crust, crust either. And that was good. Pie crust is delicious. And so is cheesecake crust. I love crust. That is our Jollibee taste test. We pretty much got everything we didn't have last mm -hmm. time that was on this menu this time, which 
unfortunately excluded Halo Halo. Yeah, we saw pictures of it on the restaurant. <laughs> uh, like when we were going on Google Images of the yeah. restaurant, the specific one. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It was fun. It was fantastic. The food was really, really good. I Very think good. this food we got this time was a better quality than the Milan time that we got it. I think it was just because the Milan one was so packed. It was so busy. And when I went in to pick it up, there's maybe five people in this one. Yeah. The Milan one, there was hordes of people. Definitely makes a difference when they're just quickly having to uh, prepare food for 200 people. And, yeah, there's uh, literally 200 people in there. Take your time, do it fresh. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed, if you did subscribe, like the video, we'll try to get to a Jollibee again to get Hollow Hollow. Yeah, so we need to get the Hollow Hollow. Also, this place had spicy chicken, which they didn't have in Milan. And Milan had hot dogs. Which they didn't have here. No, which was very interesting. So it seems like there's a lot of location exclusive mm -hmm. things. So who knows if there's another location near us that might have some different options. We're always we're always gonna keep an eye out and see what they the we eyes can get. The eyes are peeled. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Subscribe, like the video, check out the travel vlog that we oh. are making while we did this. See you later. Bye.